Sunny skies and comfortable temperatures will greet you as you head out the door before we really crank up the heat. We say hello to the 90s by the afternoon, all before chances for active weather return. Not this morning, though. Look at that sunshine nice and bright out of our 13 WREX camera. And we're going to see plenty of sun over the next several hours as your temperatures quickly climb. We're at 63 degrees right now. We're comfortable. We're quiet. Enjoy it. We really start to warm things up, especially by the afternoon, breaking into the low 90s. Talk about heat. Plus, we'll have that sun, a little bit humidity mixes in as well. We'll have a couple clouds moving in, mainly into the afternoon and evening as we continue to stay warm. So really good day to practice that heat safety. A good morning to leave with a water bottle in hand. Make sure you stay hydrated. Plus, take it easy during the hottest parts of the day, which of course comes in later through the afternoon. And of course, make sure to stay cool. Use fans. AC, something you might want to do over really the next several days. Overnight, we drop into the upper 60s, low 70s, with showers and thunderstorms joining us mainly early into Thursday. That's what future track shows us. Still plenty of dry time. Most of Wednesday stays quiet before we start to see these showers and thunderstorms arriving early Thursday morning. Here's what 430 looks like into tomorrow morning. It continues to move through, but then as we take you into the morning commute, a lot of us already dry and we'll get a lot of dry time into Thursday. Day. Now, with that being said, there's a couple scenarios that may play out. If we see a lot of these morning showers exit, some clearing, some sunshine might give us a better chance to see showers and thunderstorms, even potentially severe activity into tomorrow afternoon and evening. Most of the area under a one out of five, it has shifted ever so slightly to the southeast, but regardless, we might see a threat of damaging wind gusts and hail, especially later into the day. Here's what future track looks like. By the time we get after the six o'clock hour, some showers and thunderstorms develop. The most likely scenario at the moment favors those showers and storms near and to the south of I-88. Then they continue to sweep out of the area. Here's what 830 looks like into Thursday, and then we're quiet overnight. Plus, cloud cover also starts to move out, allowing sunshine to be back with us in time for our Friday. All of this will result in temperatures dropping in those low to mid 80s, even through Saturday. We'll see a couple clouds for the start of our weekend, but not to worry, because in your most accurate 10 day forecast, we lock in the sunshine for Sunday. It's going to be a toasty Father's Day this time around low to mid 90s and we stay in that territory even into next week. Really important to remember that heat safety really moving forward. Dylan.